So if meditation is all about focusing the mind and not clearing the mind, then what do we focus on? Initially, when you're a beginner, the most easiest focal point that we can use is our breath. So generally we will focus on the breath as it comes in and focus our attention fully on the breath as it leaves the body on the way out. Breathing in and breathing out. It's like watching a pendulum swing back and forth as if you were staring at a physical object. But in this case, you're not staring with your eyes, you're staring with your mind. And you're focusing on the breath as it goes back and forth, back and forth. And there'll be many things that will happen while you sit, and you could be sitting in a chair or you could be sitting in full lotus position on the ground, it doesn't really matter. What matters is as things start to happen, sounds in the distance, traffic, cars, uh, cats, dogs meowing and barking, um, children making noises, cell phones ringing, whatever you can experience in the present moment is still going to happen. It's not going to stop all existence from doing what it's normally doing. The only thing that's going to be different is we're going to try to be focusing in on our breath. All right? And so as we do that, the brain gets really bored uh, pretty quickly. Uh, it's, it's a pretty complicated piece of equipment we got here and it wants to put the breathing back on the autopilot as quickly as it possibly can. But here's the trick. Is your brain in control or are you in control? Which one is going to be more pleasant? I would say if you're more in control, then life becomes a little bit more pleasant, all right? We don't cause ourselves as much suffering because if the brain likes to do whatever it wants to do, it's going to cause us you know, a lot of suffering because it's going to do stuff that we might not want it to do. For example, as we're sitting here focusing on our breath, it starts thinking about what it wants to do in an hour or uh, the thing that it forgot to do uh, a day ago or uh, the emotions that come up as a result of forgetting that thing, whatever. As those things come up, you can treat them exactly the same as you would an external sound or external stimulus of some kind. A truck drives by, yeah, it might catch your attention and you might look even at, in the direction of the truck and maybe you even catch the truck as it drives by. But as the sound fades into the distance and you can no longer see or hear the truck, generally speaking, that's when we return our focus back to our breath. So breathing in, I'm aware of my breath. Breathing out, I'm aware of my breath. Something else happens, takes my focus away, maybe for a few seconds, maybe even a few minutes if it's you know our monkey mind that comes back and we start swinging from branch to branch in thought. But at some point in time, we realize that we're no longer focusing in on our breath and we just refocus our attention back to our breath without a second thought. No need to beat ourselves up, no need to make ourselves into some sort of monster or somebody who can't meditate or this isn't something that I can do kind of a mindset. That's all optional. You can do that if you want. It's not necessary though, okay? If you can sit for just a few minutes and breathe in and breathe out, and as you get distracted and you lose your focal point, and your focal point basically is what's happening is it's becoming something else unintentionally, then just refocus your attention back. All right, so let's meditate together for just a couple minutes, okay? Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And if we've lost our focus, we just return our focus back to our breath. And again, as we return our focus back to our breath, there's no reason to have any additional thoughts whatsoever. 
just acknowledging that we're now refocusing our attention back on our breath in and our breath as it goes out. And start paying attention to the physical sensations as you breathe in. Notice as your stomach expands and breathing out how it deflates like a balloon. Now, of course, the stomach, the organ itself is not inflating like a balloon, but the belly inflates like a balloon along with your chest as you breathe in and breathing out. Your chest sinks, your belly deflates like a balloon. So inflating and deflating. It's helpful if you put your hand on your stomach. You can also put both hands on your stomach. Breathing in, feeling the belly rise and breathing out, feeling the belly sink. So that's pretty much it. If you guys can do that, if you're still closing your eyes and, and following your breath, at this point you can return your focus back to the video with your eyes. And uh, at this point, um, go ahead and practice this as much as you possibly can um, you know, in your everyday life. You don't have to be uh, setting aside specific time in the morning or night, five or 10 minutes here and there. It's, that's totally cool if you want to, but it's equally as effective if you're waiting in line at the DMV or if you're waiting for a red light to change and you're just gonna follow your breath for maybe five or six breaths. Meditation is something that's so dynamic and so misunderstood that if we freed ourselves up to the reality of it, we would actually see that it's uh, something that's quite desirable and quite enjoyable. So I wish you well on your practice and feel free to ask me any questions if you get stuck or if you um, not sure exactly if you're doing it right or you think you're doing it wrong. I love to hear all about it. So please let me know in the comments um, and also please like, uh, follow, subscribe and do all that jargon and that way we can continue practicing together. All right.